Hey there, Joseph Dobbs here from True Discussion. I was going to do a video about abortion, but apparently, according to the left, I can't talk about it because I'm a man, and the only way to do so is if you were a woman. Man, I'm kind of bummed. Oh, what's this? Bruh. Well, for the next few minutes, I'm going to identify as a woman. There, that was easy. Okay. So there's this meme going around on Facebook because abortion's a hot topic right now, and it starts out by saying, I'm not pro-murdering babies. I'm pro Becky, Susan, Teresa, and it lists all these scenarios with these different women and how we should feel for them and then, and then grant them the ability to murder their children. Here's the problem with this meme. Every scenario it states, it stops, but I'm going to finish the rest of the sentence because there's more that needs to be included with this meme. So let's go through one by one. I'm not pro-murdering babies. I'm pro-Becky, who found out her 20-week anatomy scan that the infant she had been so excited to bring into this world had developed without life-sustaining organs. Spoiler alert, we're all going to die. But because Becky found out this child wasn't going to live long, she gets to make the decision of going ahead and murdering it now. Or, I'm pro-Susan, who was sexually assaulted on her way home from work, only to come to a horrific realization that her assailant planted his seed, weird way to say that, in her when she got a positive pregnancy test result a month later. Now, I agree with the Bible. This, this man raped her, so he deserves to lose his life. I agree with the Bible on that. However, just because he is guilty of rape, doesn't mean Susan gets to now kill the innocent baby that was produced from this. Or how about this one? I'm pro little Kathy, who had her innocence ripped away from her by someone she should have been able to trust, and her 11-year-old body isn't mature enough to bear the consequence of that betrayal. Now again, I agree with the Bible. This rapist needs to be put down. But because 11-year-old Kathy can't bear the consequence, hopefully she can bear the guilt of murdering her own child. Or what about this one? I'm pro Melissa, who's working two jobs just to make ends meet and has to choose between bringing another child into poverty or feeding the children she already has because her spouse walked out on her. Because she can't afford this child, she gets to murder it. And in this one, it full on acknowledges that it's another child she'd be bringing into it. But that's Melissa's choice. And again, I'm pro Brittany, who realizes that she is in no way financially, emotionally, or physically able to raise a child. Raise a what? A child. And because she can't afford it or isn't ready for it, she gets to murder it. I'm pro Jessica, who is finally getting the strength to get away from her physically abusive spouse, only to find out that she is carrying the monster's child. Again, the what? Child. And apparently because this child's father is a monster, Jessica gets to be one too by murdering her child. And then this one. I'm pro Lindsay, who lost her virginity in her sophomore year with a broken condom and now has to choose whether to be a teenage mom or just a teenager or murdering her child. And then this meme ends with, you can argue and say that I'm pro-choice all you want, but the truth is I'm pro-life, their lives, women's lives, just not the baby's lives. I know, leave it up to the left to not make sense. Anyhow, it's good to see the left has finally figured out the difference between men and women. Now, if only we could get them to learn the difference between the woman's body and the innocent body that's growing inside them that they want to murder.